So there was this rumored leak a while back that the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy may be coming over to the Nintendo Switch. It originated, I believe, in this licensing magazine over in Europe where they mentioned Crash Bandicoot is a series to look out for as the Insane Trilogy is set to come out to the Switch and PC this year. Uh, and there's also a new Crash game set for 2019. I assumed after the success of the Insane Trilogy on PS4, they'd be planning to do more with Crash. It sold several million units without any real marketing behind it, and making more money off that collection makes sense to me. You know, as a value, three remastered games for $40, it was one of the best deals uh, in my opinion, of the last year, and so just on that point alone, I could see it replicating similar success on other consoles. And now, Kotaku is reporting that they have multiple sources saying that Activision is also set to release a similar trilogy remaster collection for Spyro the Dragon. They're saying the game will be announced for the PS4 with pro support in March, uh, and then it's set to be released around quarter three of this year. So. They're giving out some specifics here, which always piques my interest when it comes to these rumors, right? Anyone can put their money down on, oh, this game will come out someday, but, you know, when people start giving specifics, it makes me a little bit more interested, like maybe they are hearing this from somebody who knows what they're talking about. And while I wouldn't say Kotaku is, you know, revered or anything like that, uh, they're big enough where I believe a site like this has sources in the industry. They went on to say that, similar to the Insane Trilogy, this collection will be given a one-year exclusivity deal to PlayStation before being offered up to other platforms. The release date of later this year would also line up with the series' 20th anniversary. The original Spyro the Dragon came out in September of 98. I thought that'd be worth mentioning, kinda makes sense that if they were going to do something with this series, the 20th anniversary, it makes sense to do it now. Going off of what I said about the Insane Trilogy, I totally see this Spiral Collection being a thing. You have one collection just came out and way surpassed everyone's expectations. It makes business sense that you'd see people over at Activision like looking around, seeing what other franchises they've got stowed away somewhere that they can dust off uh, and sell a few million copies of. But it's looking kind of like the Nintendo Switch is set to get sort of an invasion of PlayStation mascots. Obviously, these characters are owned by Activision. I believe there was a Spyro game on like the Game Boy Advance or something like that. But man, back in the OG PlayStation days and even the PS2 days, uh, they were positioned to kind of compete with Nintendo's mascots like Mario. And because of that history, I think this would be pretty awesome. Like I said, these characters were positioned to draw in the same sorts of crowds as some of the big Nintendo characters. Uh, so I think they would find themselves quite at home on Nintendo platforms. I would love if say the Insane Trilogy collection is coming to the Switch, if they did a bit maybe during like the E3 showcase where they replicated those old school Crash Bandicoot commercials where he was like outside the Nintendo headquarters talking trash. That, oh, that would make my day. Hey, plumber boy, mustache man, your worst nightmare has arrived. Pack up your stuff. I got a little surprise for you here. Check it out. What do you think about that? And this opens these franchises up to new audiences in two ways, really. There's obviously the longtime Nintendo diehards who may have just never played these games, or hey, maybe they even bought into the rivalry deal back in the day and didn't want to support them. But also, and this is the same as with the PS4, these games are old. This isn't like nowadays where, you know, games get like a remastered port two or even just one year after the initial release to a new console. Both of these characters, these franchises, have been dormant for a long time. Yeah, there's older fans who are excited to see them back, but you surely have millions of players who are completely unfamiliar with them. And if Activision really is trying to turn back the hands of time and bring them up to some sort of relevancy, uh, opening them up to more platforms for more people to discover makes total sense. And obviously there's long-term implications at play here too. It appears that Activision wants to go forward with new Crash games and if the Spyro collection sees similar success, I could only assume they'd want to do uh, more games for that series as well. If these collections do end up coming over to the Switch, well, 
this will be the Nintendo community's chance to show Activision that there is a market for these games on this platform. It's like I always say, money is the main driving factor of these companies. You can sit and port beg for games on Twitter or wherever you want, but they're doing what makes business sense to them. And like I've said, that's why it seems many companies are in sort of a testing the water phase with the Switch, seeing what sorts of numbers their games will do on that system. Personally, like I said, I think these games will do quite well if they do in fact come over. I think they fit perfectly with some of Nintendo's biggest icons. Personally, I'd be down for some Crash and Spyro amiibo and perhaps even get them as guest characters in the next Smash release? Okay, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, it's not even a sure thing. The Spyro remaster itself isn't even confirmed, let alone coming to the Switch. But it does seem likely if Activision wants to do bigger things with these IPs, uh, even though they do have a history on PlayStation, they have no actual obligation to keep them exclusive, and it doesn't seem like they are. Uh, and it makes sense to open them up to a wider audience. And if you guys haven't had a chance to check out that insane trilogy yet, man, in my opinion, it's awesome. Especially if you have a fondness for those old uh, 3D platformers of the PlayStation and N64 era. Um, you know, see, I just, I want more people to play it. Anyway, with that, this video is a wrap. Let me know your thoughts on the Crash Bandicoot and this potential Spyro collection possibly making their way onto the Nintendo Switch in the comments. Would you be interested in picking them up? Do you think they'd find a sizable audience here? Would you like to see the future games in these franchises come to this platform? As always, I'm John Zakari, and thanks for watching.